A simple DMX controller for light fixtures based on Arduino. Looking at DMX, which is Digital Multiplex, it's the standard for digital communication used to control stage lighting and other effects. The serial communication link is RS-485 differential. There's a master and a slave. It only goes in one direction and there's no feedback, no error correction. You just send out packets continuously and if there happens to be an error, something's not received properly, it'll just be refreshed on the next send. And this is a 250 kilobit per second data rate. Because of the way DMX works, where the controller is constantly sending out the data, you can only have one master controller on each string of devices. And a string of devices will be called a universe. Each device is going to have a channel assigned to it, which is basically an address. And within each device, if it's not just a simple one color light that you want to fade up and down, if it has multiple features or multiple colors like red, green, blue, white, each feature that you're controlling has a channel. So the device will be configured with its start channel and however many channels it's going to use, those are automatically added on and your next device is going to have to be set for the appropriate next available channel. So let's say all these three devices here are lights that can control maybe RGBW, red, green, blue, and white on here. And then the other two are just simple white only and all you can do is one action fade up, fade down. So you would configure the first device as channel 1, but it's got those four colors, so it's actually taking up channels 1, 2, 3, and 4 to control the brightness of red, green, blue, and white. So this single color light is going to take channel 5, the next available, and this light will take channel 6, the next available. So you would configure this as channel 1, channel 5, and channel 6, and if you want to control green, you would set the controller to change the brightness on channel 2. 1 is red, 2 is green, 3 is blue, 4 is white. The control data for each channel is 8 bits, so you get 0 to 255. So if you want to make green as bright as possible, you would say set channel 2 to 255. Looking at what the controller sends out to all the devices on the serial link, you can have up to 512 channels each with 8 bits of data, so each channel in the serial protocol is called a slot. The line idles high when there's no communication, and when it's time to transmit again, it starts sending an empty slot with all zeros. And there's start and stop bits in between each slot, but after slot 0, then you get sequentially slot 1 up through slot 512, containing 8 bits of control data for each channel and this is just sent repeatedly. So whatever you last transmitted on a certain channel, it's still going to be repeated over and over, and that way if a frame gets missed, the device will get that control data again on the next transmission. And when the controller wants to change a setting, it'll just update that slot, and again, it's continually sending out, so the device will get the new data, and everything stays refreshed. So that start code being all zeros is a standard value for DMX512 compatible things, but there could be other start codes for different kinds of data as the standard has evolved. So 00, zero as a start code is what we're using to control standard lights. Lights like this are generally called PARCAN or PAR lights, which stands for Parabolic Illuminized Reflector, and those are what you would see in theater and concert applications. So if you look on eBay, for example, for DMX lights, you'll find all kinds of different things, like these strips that you can control the colors and send patterns along, chain them all together. You can use things like this for uplighting against a wall in a home theater and create mood lighting, change the colors to suit what's going on. Here's a DMX controller, so there you can use presets and sliders to control the channel data for however many channels you can support. And some lights have motorized moving heads and you can spin them around and reflect the light all over the place. Since a DMX controller is basically some sort of intelligent device and an RS-485 link, 
This is all that's needed to do an Arduino-based DMX controller. We have 5 volts and ground coming to power the RS-485 module, and then we're using pin 3 digital output for our single-ended serial data, and that gets sent out differentially with the RS-485 levels to our XLR 3-pin connector. So we have a data plus and minus and a common, which is the ground from the whole system. Then we plug in the DMX light fixture to this 3-pin XLR socket. Since the communication only goes one direction, this would be the RS-485 single-ended receive in, but we're not receiving anything, so it's not connected. We're disabling the receiver and we're enabling the transmitter so we can send out. So here's the RS-485 chip, which is on this module here. Since we're only transmitting out from Arduino to the differential RS-485 bus to go to the DMX fixtures, we need to turn on the driver and turn off the receiver. Driver enable is active high, so we loop that to VCC. The receiver enable is active low, so to disable we also pull that high. And this is our DMX serial bus. I have two of these American DJ microwash red, green, blue, white PAR cans. So they have some built-in preset functions. They even have a built-in microphone to respond to the sound in the room. You can operate them under DMX control, or you can individually control the brightness of all the colors, or run it in some automatic patterns. There's the pinouts of the 3-pin XLR that it uses. So there's a male and a female on each unit. So you plug in from the master, and then if you have another device, you can send it on to the next device with the other cable. I'm going to be using the five-channel mode for what I want to do. So I set the button on the back until the display shows four and then some numbers, and that will be the channel. So five-channel mode means I can individually control the brightness of red, green, blue, white, and then the fifth channel is a master dimmer, so whatever combination of colors I have, I can fade the whole thing up or down. I'm going to use the DMX Simple Arduino library because it really is simple. It comes with two sample sketches. One does a fading and one just lets you directly enter in commands to a DMX channel and it will go and send that data to that channel. So you can manually directly set a brightness of any of those colors in each of the lights. There's only three commands to know about. One sets the maximum number of channels. If we're only using two lights, we could restrict this down and make it something like a maximum of 10 channels because I have five channels I'm accessing in each light. But by default, if you don't change this, it just sends out all 512, so it would be empty frames. And the default, if you don't say what digital pin you want to use, the default is pin 3, but you can also change it using the use pin function. So this is not using a UART, it's just manually controlling the bit rate and sending out the data, bit banging on whatever pin you set. Otherwise, all you really need to use, if you're okay with the defaults, is dmxsimple.write. So all you do is set the channel between 1 and 512, and the value between 0 and 255 of the data. Here's my two DMX lights. So I've set the first one to that four mode, which is five channel mode, and it's address one. The other one starts at address six. So each light has two XLR3 cables, one male, one female, and they're chained together. The main input's going to go here from Arduino. And then this light continues on to the second light. And here's the circuit. Arduino Uno giving 5 volts over to the RS-485 board. Digital output 3 going to the data in. This RS-485 board has four headers on each end to go into a breadboard, but the spacing between these two headers isn't standard, so I had to use an individual small breadboard for each, and I still couldn't put it securely down into this base plate. So each one is tipped slightly forward to get this thing to all align. So all I need to do is plug in the DMX cable to this jack. 
and now both lights are off because it's getting proper data here and I have everything turned off in software. So now I'm going to aim these at the wall and try it out. I used the library manager to install DMX Simple and it comes with two example sketches, one to fade up the lights and the other to just directly enter commands from the serial monitor. So I've slightly tweaked both of those sketches, made my own version of it. So I'm running the sketch for the manual command control. I just reset the board and the lights went blank and it's waiting for me to enter something through the serial monitor. The syntax is you enter in a channel number that you want to address and you put C and the system will be ready to accept data for that channel. So then you enter in a value from 0 to 255 and follow it with a V for value and then that data will go to that channel. So my first light, channel 1, is going to be the red. So I want to set it to 50 out of 255. That should be about 20% brightness. I can also put these commands together. So one channel and 50 value turns on red about 20%. And I've added in a serial printout to confirm I've set channel 1 to a value of 50. So now on light number 2, the channel is going to start at channel 6 because channels 1 through 5 are used up on the first light where channel 1 is red, and then we got green, blue, white, and then a master dim. So channel 6 would start over with my second light being red and so on. So I want to add some green from light number 2. So that should be channel 7. 7 channel and put it at level 50 of a value. So now I have red and green between two lights. And that's what this sketch does. So I have it set up to confirm I want to use digital output 3 for the DMX serial. I've commented out this optional command to set the maximum number of channels. So it's just going to send out data for all 512 possible channels. That's okay. The master brightness, this fifth channel, it defaults to zero and originally I was trying to turn on a color and I wasn't getting anything because the master dimmer was down. So that happened to me a couple of times between the two sketches I was working on. So channel 5 is the master dimmer on the first light and channel 10 would be the master dimmer on the second light and I've got them both on full brightness just so I don't have any more confusion. And then we just print out this header to show the syntax of using the sketch. So then we're just looking at the serial monitor and waiting until we receive a command. And this little loop goes in and parses out our channel and our value data, uses the DMX simple write command to send that data to that channel, and that's it. And then I print out a confirmation of what I just tried to do. Then we keep looping, waiting for another command. Then I took the fade example sketch and modified it a bit to suit my setup with two lights. So again, I'm using digital output 3. I am turning on the master brightness to full on both lights. And now I can just individually control the colors. So in the loop, this is very brute force. First, for the first light, I bring the brightness up from minimum to maximum on channel 1, which would be red of the first light. And then I wait a little bit in between so it'll fade up. Once it's at 255 and this loop is done, it'll go fading down from 255 to 0 on that same red channel. And so on. We do the same thing for channel 2, which would be green on light 1. And then channel 3 is blue on light 1. Channel 4 is the white LED on light 1. And then start over on light fixture number 2. Fade up and down on red, green, blue, and white. And then the loop repeats. So we are alternately fading all the colors up and down between two lights just to show we can have full control. And that's how simple it is to use an Arduino to control a DMX fixture.